As the world reels under a now year-long assault by a virus, the Earth continues to evolve in an inhospitable environment. Climate change remains the greatest crisis of our crisis-filled era. Dependence on fossil fuels continually leads to emission of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. The urgency for transition to sustainable energy has become more persistent due to the recent setbacks the world has experienced caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. With an average of 414,000 barrels of petroleum products burnt daily, the Philippines continue to be challenged by the inaccessibility to affordable, secure, and environmentally sustainable sources of energy. Meanwhile, cooking oils are considered an essential commodity and as reflected in the Philippines' consumption, it is expected to reach over 2.7 million tons by 2021. This value is alarming as WCO clogs municipal sewers and piping systems, which ultimately supplements the 7.2 flooding rate index of the country. It is also a problem in wastewater treatment as excess oil reduces its efficiency. But it is more threatening if left untreated upon the disposal to bodies of water as it can raise the biochemical oxygen demand that significantly lowers the quality of water. We are Bryce. It is our mission to contribute to mitigating these challenges through our biodiesel reactor yielding commercially available energy. The Bryce envisions creating a system to produce biodiesel by valorizing waste cooking oils. Through the Bryce oil trap, user can collect waste cooking oils. Solid components of the drain water are separated by a solid screen while the oils are separated by a skimmer. It is scraped into an external grease collection container with the entire process being fully automatic. After the collection of waste cooking oils, the process of an aeration-assisted transesterification reaction is done which includes the following steps. Preheating of waste cooking oil to about 60 to 65 degrees Celsius in the reactor which will allow the oil to react with the reactant and catalyst immediately. Fine spraying of the methoxide at a flow rate of 1.5 liters per minute and the dosage lasts for 35 to 45 minutes for 3 to 4 hours of reaction time. Production of biodiesel where the time when the synthesis process starts is recorded and 4 hours will be the time taken for the reaction to be completed. The reaction of the temperature was ensured to be taking place at 55 degrees Celsius and after every hour during the synthesis, the central aeration sparger will be raised by 3 cm to aid in the settling of glycerol. After 4 hours of synthesis, the aeration is stopped and turned off and the glycerol is allowed to settle for 30 minutes. Washing of the produced biodiesel where 5 liters of water was charged into the methoxide tank and the steerer was turned on and the washing process took place for 30 minutes. Another 5 liters of water was charged in again for another washing process and the waste water was drained into the carboy again. And, polishing of produced biodiesel where the temperature of the polishing process was raised to 105 degrees Celsius and maintained for at least 3 hours. And after 3 hours of polishing process, the heater was turned off. The biodiesel was allowed to cool down to 55 degrees Celsius with the aeration on. After the cooling process, the biodiesel product was drained into a clean carboy. While biodiesel production is an established novel technology, its conventional production employs raw materials which risks diverting farmlands or crops, which consequently detriments food supply. With rice, valorizing waste cooking oils doesn't only address its environmental threat when disposed of irresponsibly, but also offers a sustainable source of clean energy. Since its inception, the Bryce has collaborated with local and international institutions to further realize the potential impact of the technology. Its track record of participation in different startup competitions has showcased the Bryce's vision, mission, and goals. This wouldn't have been possible without the synergistic individuality of the proponents in the team. And we are Bryce, fueling a sustainable society the green and affordable way.